Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you my top five apps for your Windows 11 desktop. Now, the focus of this is gonna be on a desktop computer. Of course, if you have something like a tablet, there are gonna be different apps that I prefer using that really take advantage of the pen and touch, but this is gonna be for everyday use of Windows 11. Um, and of course, these may change when we get Android emulation on Windows 11, but for now, these are my top five apps for Windows 11 if you're using it like a desktop. So the first app I'd recommend is either the Photos app or Google Photos, depending on where you back up your photos to. I actually use both of them, but the beautiful thing about using the Photos app is that it syncs to my OneDrive so that all the photos that I do take on my phone um, they back up to OneDrive and then when I want to access them from my computer, they're already backed up and they're synced to my PC. The app is really quite easy to use and of course if I pull across my widgets and my task um, view, I can also see them but I love using the app because it's quite easy and quite fast to sync and of course it just, it works and then I can just right click and grab on something and I can just paste it straight across to my desktop and it's just really easy and smooth um, to get my photos from my phone straight over to my computer but not everyone backs up their photos to OneDrive, which is where you can use something like Google Photos. Now, Google Photos doesn't actually have a desktop app for Windows 11, but what I did do is I went on the Google website and then they give you the option of installing this as a progressive Windows app, which essentially turns the web page into an app like you can see here on the right-hand side. So whether you're using the Photos app on Microsoft um, OneDrive or the Google Photos app or even your iCloud account. My number one app to use is Photos because it makes it a really easy way of transitioning getting the photos and videos from your phone onto your Windows 11 PC. The next app of course that I'd recommend is something to play your music with. So whether you're using something like Spotify or Apple Music, you can of course download them from the Windows Store. Um, so you can type in Spotify here and just download it. Or of course, if you're looking for Apple Music, you can simply go on Apple Music and download Apple Music. These ones do need a subscription, although with Spotify, you can get the free version that does have ads. If you do use YouTube Music though, what you can do, just like we did with the Google Photos, is that you can actually turn the web page of YouTube Music and then turn it into an app on Windows 11. I'll show you how to do that now, actually, because it's quite cool. Let's go to YouTube. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing this in Edge or in Google Chrome, they're both based off the same Chromium web browser. But what we can do here is you can see it says app available in the top right hand corner. We're simply gonna select on that and then we're gonna install this as an app. This also works on Windows 10 quite well. And you've got the options here of pinning it to the taskbar in the start menu. You can create it as a desktop shortcut or you can even have it auto start when you turn on your computer. I'm actually not gonna pin it to my taskbar but it will pin it to the start. We'll go allow and when I press the start button you see we also now have YouTube music here as well so for photos I'd use either the OneDrive photos app or turning Google photos into an app for music of course you've got the option of Spotify or Apple music you can even turn the YouTube music page into a progressive app and it looks beautiful on here and it works just as well as a, a natively built app the next app I'd recommend is called quick look this is by a little known developer, but I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it actually takes the Apple quick look of pressing the space bar and lets you quickly peek into the documents that you're looking at without having to launch the program. So what it looks like, I'm gonna jump on the desktop here, is I've got the video that we copy and pasted before. Instead of having to double tap and open that up, I've selected it, I simply press space bar, and it's gonna give me a quick preview of that document, whether it's a photo, a video, a PDF, a Word document. So if you're looking at a whole bunch of different documents, you can literally just use the spacebar to get that quick preview and then the escape key to get rid of it again. And you can use the up and down keys to go through and sort. Um, if you're going through a whole bunch of files, you can actually just go up and down and it's gonna uh, cycle through them all. So quick look is something I would definitely recommend downloading from the Windows Store. The next app I'd recommend downloading is Messenger for Facebook. I'm not sure about you, but I use Messenger quite a bit to connect with people. Um, but if, if you don't use Messenger all that much, of course, you can download something like WhatsApp um, and you can install 
this on your computer. So instead of having to go to their websites, you can install either the Messenger app from Facebook or WhatsApp and have them running on your desktop natively. I find it a much easier way of connecting with people because the app is there running. I can turn off notifications when I don't want it. And of course, I can just simply select on Messenger down the bottom here when I do want to message somebody. And the last app I'd recommend installing on your computer, which probably already came pre-installed on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC, is of course OneNote. So OneNote right now, even on Windows 11, still says OneNote for Windows 10. OneNote is an awesome app for storing files and documents and taking notes and basically cataloging everything that you would with digital and physical note papers into the single spot. Um, OneNote, I've been using it for years. It's literally changed the way I work and it's changed the way I organize my life. Um, the fact that it's free is amazing. Um, it's accessible from any sort of device, whether it's a Windows 10, Windows 11 PC, whether it's your phone, an iPad, but using it on the desktop, you get a really great experience. Um, I've got it here on my nice 27 inch monitor and it's just a really great, great way of keeping everything stored together. So there you have it. Those are my five free apps that I'd recommend downloading on your Windows 11 PC. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're on a supercharged way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.